In this video, we will be reviewing over Ohm's Law and Ohm's Law as it relates to various electrical problems. Ohm's Law is defined as the current in a wire is equal to the voltage divided by resistance. So as Ohm's Law is applied, we will be looking at voltage, which will be abbreviated V, and the units are voltage or volts. We will look at current, which will be in units of amps, symbol I, resistance, which is symbol R, and the units are ohms. When dealing with Ohm's law, we can take the above definition and rearrange it so that resistance will equal voltage divided by current, volts will equal amps times ohms, or amps would equal voltage divided by ohms. Now, we will be using Ohm's law in a series of problems and taking this equation and rearranging it to solve for x. Again, two of the three components will be stated for us in the problem, and we will do simple algebraic means to solve for the unknown portion. Ohm's law is named after George Ohm, who developed the law. And here we have uh, Ohm's law again, where we have our current equals our voltage divided by our resistance. Now remember that resistance is a measure of the opposition to the flow of charge, and resistance is measured in ohms. Now as we look at some of our diagrams, this right here is going to represent batteries. This symbol right here will represent resistance. So here we have a resistance, and we have it in 4 ohms. Here we have our battery, and we have 4 volts, or excuse me, 12 volts. And here we have our current. And according to this equation, our current would equal our voltage divided by our resistance. So 12 divided by 4 would equal 3. Here again, we have what uh, resistors in a series would look like. Resistors that are parallel in a circuit, batteries in a series, and batteries that are parallel. Just for some of our upcoming diagrams that we will be solving for. Now in this equation, we have a subwoofer needs a household voltage of 110 volts to push a current of 5.5 amps through its coil. What is the resistance of the subwoofer? Do notice that I have the equations to the side. Because we're solving for resistance, we will use Ohm's law in this form, where resistance equals volts divided by current. We are given our voltage as being 110. We are given our current as being 5.5. We do the math and remember that resistance is in ohms, so we have 20 ohms of resistance. In this example, we have a Walkman that uses a standard 1.5 voltage battery. How much resistance is in the circuit if it uses a, a current of 0 0.01 amps? Now I do want you to notice that I have placed the uh, equation right down here. Because we're asked to solve for resistance, we will be using Ohm's law in this form. So resistance would equal our voltage, which is 1.5 volts, divided by our current, which is 0 0.01 amps, and we would have a resistance of 150 ohms. In this version of Ohm's law, we have a current flow through a hair dryer that's plugged into a 110 volt circuit. It has a resistance of 25 ohms. What is its current? Well, in this case, we will be using current equals voltage divided by resistance. We're given a voltage of 110 volts. We're given a resistance of 25 ohms. When we do the math, we would have a current flow of 4.4 amps. A 12 volt car battery pushes a charge through the headlight circuit. The resistance has 10 ohms. How much current is passing through the circuit? Well, again, we will be using current equals voltage divided by resistance. And we have 12 volts divided by a resistance of 10 ohms. The math shows that we have 1.2 amps passing through the circuit. In this problem, we are solving for voltage. Now, as we look at Ohm's law, 
Ohm's law, we have our voltage equals current times resistance. This equation, this equation, where we have current equals voltage divided by resistance, and this equation, resistance equals voltage divided by current, these are all Ohm's law. And what we've taken is this one equation here and rearranged it so that we could solve for each of the missing components. If you forget that, you can always use the voltage equals current times resistance, plug in your numbers and solve for x. When you solve for x, you are putting your equations in these forms depending on what you're solving for. So here we have an electric heater and it works by passing a current of 100 amps through a coiled metal wire and it makes the coiled metal wire red hot. If the resistance of the wire is 1.1 ohms, what is the voltage that must be applied? So our voltage will equal our current times our resistance. We have a current of 100 amps. We have a resistance of 1.1 ohms. So we would have a voltage of 110 volts. Let's do one more problem. A light bulb has a resistance of 5 ohms and a maximum current of 10 amps. How much voltage can be applied before the bulb breaks? Remember that voltage equals current times resistance. And so we have our current as 10 amps and our resistance as 5 ohms. We do the math and we would have 50 amps of voltage before the bulb breaks. On these problems, we will be looking at Ohm's Law as they relate to circuits. Now this top circuit diagram that we are looking at uh, is a series circuit. This bottom diagram that we are looking at is a parallel circuit. I have placed the equation that we will be using, our Ohm's Law, in its various forms. And again, I have indicated what each of the letters stand for. And I've placed some notes about series circuit and parallel circuit for you. Now in series circuit, we add the resistance. So our total resistance will equal our first, second, and third resistance added up. Our current remains the same, and we add the voltage to get our total voltage. So we're going to apply this information to this problem. You will notice that I have filled in the information that was given for us with our first, second, and third resistance. You'll also notice that in the problem, uh, we have the uh, 12 volts given, and that will be our total voltage. Now we've got our total voltage. We know that we must add our resistance. So 2 plus 4 plus 6, we get a total resistance. To get our total current, we will take our current equals our voltage divided by resistance. So 12 divided by uh, 12 is 1. We notice that our current remains the same. So we have a current of 1 all the way through. Now to get our voltage, our voltage equals our current times our resistance. So 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 6 is 6. And if we notice our 2, 4, and 6 do add up to a total voltage of 12. On this bottom diagram, we are looking at a parallel circuit. Now with a parallel circuit, I filled in in blue all of the components that were given in our problem. Now we need to first solve for our voltage. And so our voltage will equal our current times our resistance, so 0.5 times 5, and I had a voltage of 2.5. In a parallel circuit, the voltage is the same, so all of these answers is 2.5. Now that I know that, I can now solve for my current in these two components. My current will equal my voltage divided by my resistance, so 2.5 divided by 3, and I had a current 1 as 0.83. Here we had 2.5 divided by 10, and current 3 would be 0.25. Current 4, or our total current, what we're going to do is we're going to add up 
these currents and we get 1.58. Now to get our total resistance, our resistance will equal our voltage divided by our current or 1.58. If I want to check this answer, I would take our um, resistance, 1 over resistance total equals 1 over resistance 1 plus 1 over resistance 2 plus 1 over resistance 3. So to check this, I would take 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 10. Now when I do that, I would get 0.633 continue. I would take 1 divided by 0.6333 continue and I would get this answer right here. If that matches to what I got when I took my voltage divided by current, my answer is correct.